So, textbooks, should you pay for them or not? Well... Hey fam, it is me, your pal T, the Fly Girl T. Yep, and I remember, I am rooting for you each and every day the Fly Girl way, and it's me, the Fly Girl T. And today, guys, we're just gonna jump straight into it. College textbooks, should you pay for them or not? To pay for them or not? Well, <laughs> as a college student, been there, done that, got the t-shirt, and for somebody that's gonna gun for their masters very soon, I know what it is like to get textbooks and it's an arm and a leg. You don't know how you're gonna pay for it. You don't know how you're gonna get them. But let me tell you, there are so many ways that you can work the system. And I have some tips and tricks of my own and I'm here to share it with you. So, anywho, let's do what it do. How are you gonna determine what textbooks you need? Well, the first thing you have to do, you have to determine what classes you're gonna have. You're going to have to determine how many books, your class syllabus, you can kind of have an idea, but sometimes wait until the first day or when you stumble upon your professor's lessons online, whether it's in person, just kind of get their instruction on what you're gonna do next. Because when you do that, sometimes they may not have the correct book listed on the syllabus or they may change it or it's a different edition. So just check with your instructor or professor to make sure. You are going to get an edition that is sooner or later rather than the current one that they would need. Just check with your instructor and just keep in mind with different editions, the page numbers or chapters might be a little different. So some things may be added in or left out. So keep that in mind. type of textbooks that you're going to need. Well, they have your physical books, which is like your hard covers, maybe your soft covers, maybe they're loose leaf that you put them in a binder, stuff like that, right? Then you have more of your electronic ones, different types of electronic ones, PDF or ebook, download them from the textbook company. Sometimes your professor may provide your reading materials. I know at the institution where I got my associates at, the books were included into our tuition, so we didn't have to really physically pay for like, let's just say you had to get 10, you didn't have to pay for like nine or even all 10 of them. Ain't that nice? Yeah. <laughs> all right, the paid books. How do you get access to the paid books? Well, there's the first way, but the most expensive way. Getting it straight out of the college campus bookstore. Let me tell you, they are so overpriced and they will rob you for those books. But hey, I only recommend this if you really have no choice. You cannot find it. That's the only option you have left. Or you can see if you need to work out a deal, maybe get a short-term loan or some sort from college or university. That's what I had to do when I couldn't afford books. So just keep in mind, the first most common but the most expensive option is getting it straight out of the store. So I would say buy used rather than new. Now I don't mean tow up from the flow up used, but definitely if it's just got a little bit of wear, a little bit of tear, or you know some highlights in it or something, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know? Just saying. And rent versus buy. I would say if anything rent, if you know you're not going to use it for the next you know, few terms or for a while, just rent it if you can and bring it back rather than buy them but sometimes you have no choice but to just purchase them or purchase them new, so just exhaust every option until you can. Alternative retailers, so Amazon, you can get them from another bookstore or a local bookstore, things like that. You can also buy them from a former classmate or a friend for cheaper. You know, that's what we used to do. We used to basically hustle some of our old textbooks. So let's say I took the math class, you know, fall semester, but my roommate needed it for spring, I sold it to her. So and that's a nice little way that you can make some money. Okay. Free, this is the best part. This is where I really wanna help you guys out is to get them for free. So how are we gonna do that though? Glad you asked. Okay. Get the same or the older editions. If you're gonna do a paid, what, a cheaper way, you get it, you know, like I said, from family, friends, roommates, classmates, whatever. You can do it that way. Sometimes they'll be nice enough to give it to you. Now, this is only for temporary. You can go to the library. The library is another option in order to be able to do this successfully. You maybe can get away with it for a few weeks 
but I would say if the library does have it in stock, then take advantage of that and just get the copies, whether it's physical, electronic, or what have you. And sometimes you could break it down and explain to your professor what's going on. And sometimes you may just have to buddy up with a classmate or something. Hey, can I just copy some of the pages out of the book? Or I can study with you or something like that. Or, you know, but you may have to just beg and bargain just a little bit so that doesn't hurt. Okay, the ways to find them online. How? Hmm. I'm glad you asked. Now, I'm gonna show you one way how to do it for the sake of time, but the other way, the most common way that I use, I'm just gonna stick it down below. And y'all just figure it out y'all set. Okay, there's a reason why I'm doing it. All right, so you're gonna have to do the detective work itself. But I'm just gonna put the other way down that I more personally like, but there's another way I'm gonna show you. Okay, so let's get to it. So I am here. I'm actually on Google. Nothing too fancy, right? But I have this link here. I'm going to link all of these links down below to make it a lot easier for you guys. Okay. And then I'm going to just go down and scroll. Scroll past all this and I'm going to go to Library Genesis, or there's another direct link. I can also supply that as well to just make it faster, but this is just my way of doing it. Now, before I type, I gotta know what my title is. So let's just say I already know what my title or what book I'm looking for. So let's just say I'm searching for this book in particular. Let's just pretend we know. All right. Oh, okay. The Introduction to Abnormal Child and Adolescent Psychology by Robert Weiss, right? So I say, hmm, let me just go check it out on Amazon. Let's see what this is about. Okay. And it turns out that, okay, if I rent this book from Amazon, $31.99, not bad, but what if I'm really, really stuck for cash? Okay. 51 for used if I buy it. <gasps> New 90. Yikes. Okay, so what do I do? Well, I go to Library Genesis, and what I do is I simply just copy and paste just from here to here. Oops, let me do it this way. This will be easier. Okay. <laughs> it's not working for me right now. Okay. All right, this is the best we're going to get. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm going to go back over to Library Genesis of the other tab, and I'm going to paste it by however. Just gonna clean that up a bit. Now, or you can shorten it, just put the title, or you can put the author's last name and see what comes up. I'm just trying to make my search as fast as possible. So, okay. And I emphasize third edition, but sometimes it might not go by edition, so what I'm gonna do is take that out in the buy, and then, oh. Okay, and then I'm gonna try again. Okay, hmm, this looks good so far. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it looks like I found it, but what do I do? How do I do this? Now there's different mirrors that you can go to to go find this or get this. So let's just say I wanna use this one. Okay, or I like this way because it's the fastest. And like I said, I linked it down here for you. <laughs> you could get it straight off of these library Genesis website, but I personally like this website the most. Okay, and why, look at that. Looks very close to the edition I want. Now, here's the thing about this site though, in particular, this one right here. It actually only allows you 10 downloads a day, but guess what? That's not bad, ladies and gentlemen. All you have to do is create a login, and I think you can do as many as you want, or you can make a small donation, like let's say, and it gives you like an Amazon gift card or something, but I would say do it with an account you don't really care about or something, you know, or have a PayPal, so just in case if something go left, you know what to do, your cash app or something, right? Don't use your main bank account if you want to do that, but I would say, you have at least 10 without an account, and then when you log in and make a free account, I think you can do as many as you want. So, either way, I don't quite remember, but. All right, so I have these different editions. I have PDF, or I can open in browser. 
I have that option also. So let's just see if I open in the browser, what do I get? Okay, it might take a while this way. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. If it takes long, y'all, I'm just skipping. <laughs> okay. Or I'm going to download it as a PDF. Let's see what happens if I download it as a PDF. You could also have the preview option, so you want to see what it looks like before you even download it. That's fine. You can send it to your Kindle, that that requires you to log in also. But I'm just going to pretend I'm just going to download the PDF. Then just allow it. As you can see, this is taking quite a while, or maybe not. <laughs> Let's see who's faster. I don't know. Okay, so far it says I got 19 seconds, not too bad. Oh, look at that, okay, it came up pretty fast. Now here's what I can do. I could do that, download it this way, or sometimes open in browser, but here's what I do when I just click on it, like I wanna view it, and it opens Adobe for me or whatever you may have as a PDF reader, and let's see what happens. Look at that, and 1,600 pages, okay. <laughs> Yes. All right. Well, whatever. Let's see. All right. And then sometimes they'll be nicely done for you where they have the bookmarks, all of that stuff. And sometimes they don't, but that's okay. We're just going to pretend we're going to look at part one, then maybe right here. Okay. And there you go. There's your book, right? So that's done. And you have it. And you can study alongside doing your computer notes. You can take only certain pages and maybe if you need to print them out for some reason or you need to take from certain pages, you can. You can highlight, you can do what you wanna do. But yeah, nice and easy peasy, right? <laughs> well, anyway, I hope you really enjoyed that. And hey, back to the video, all right? <laughs> Don't say your girl T ain't hooked you up. All right, let's get back to it. Also, I do wanna mention, anytime that you are taking a chance and downloading books, please make sure that Hey, they might not be the most reputable sites, but I will tell you, just make sure you have some strong antivirus or something on deck, and also be sure to save these files just in case if they disappear, all right? So, textbooks, should you pay for them or not? Well, <laughs> I'm a personally all for free 99 if you ask me, all right? Let us free our wallets, especially in times like these. However, I do understand that sometimes these books are hard to come by. Just don't give up. Just keep looking for them. And also, look at different ways to work around this. Like I said, sometimes bargaining, which is getting them cheaper, borrowing. You know, sometimes you may just have to look for it on Amazon. You may have to look for it someplace else to buy them. You may just need a little time. Sometimes the buy now, pay later. You know, I have to just do that for now just to get you buy. If you can buy it on the on the web, you know, or something, but I always gun for just free. And listen, there's plenty of times where I save myself hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I cannot tell you, you know, during my school years or probably even thousands because, you know, yeah, you're gonna need it. And if it's a refund check, it's a little fatter, you know what I mean? <laughs> but guys, Yes, that is it. I am so glad that you enjoyed that. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, smash up that notification bell so every time I post a treat, you will not miss a beat. And it is me, the Fly Girl T, helping you with your college needs. And hey, tell me, do you know some you know some methods down below we can get some of these books for free? I mean, I'm helping y'all out. Y'all can help me too. I'm just saying. You know, there's another way. No. Okay? <laughs> but I love you guys. Take care. Enjoy. Have a great semester. All right? Bye. We can do a bit of a little 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 bit of a